Hello everyone, Scully here from Blue Coconut Family and welcome back to Railcraft. Today we're going to be looking at the electric locomotive. Now in the past I've looked at the steam locomotive and that proved pretty popular. So I thought I'd look at the alternative today, which is the electric locomotive. Now this is actually a really nice little um, locomotive. I actually really like this because with a steam locomotive it requires a bit of setup and as you saw in the last video if you watched it, if not, go check it out. Um, it requires a bit of setup because you need to add water, you need to add a fuel, and then you know you need to steam it up, and then events, then it's ready to go. And you need to keep it topped up with fuel and water. And it's you know it's high maintenance, but it's work. It does the job. It's pretty cheap. Um, whereas this, this doesn't. This just requires electricity. In this. And I'll go into later in the two ways you can give it electricity. Um, these tracks are kind of like a hint. Uh, but if we look at it, uh, so from the outside, the default colour is yellow and black, so it's kind of like, if you look at it, it kind of looks like the electricity warning sign sort of colours, um, which actually I quite like those colours. You can change it in the same style, so if you get a crafting table, um, actually let's get one now, uh, crafting table, and let's get some, um, oh no, it's, it's bone meal, isn't it? Mm. Wait bone mill and um, let's get some rose red so we're going to make it the same colours as let's say the London Underground so you can put it into the crafting table and just like before put these in and you get it the colours you want it sort of over the change so I'm going to make it rose colours and I'm going to make it like this so if we push push this along um, I think these are actually technically heavier in the game if weight was everything so you go, you can now see I've got the colours pretty much of sort of like the London Underground, if you kind of squint. Um, there, so you can change the colours, that's fine. Now, the next thing is placing them. Um, so let's get a bit of extra track just to, oh, just to help these guys. So, once they're placed, they go in... Uh, as, all, as the other locomotives, they go in a certain um, direction. So when you start pushing them, they will roll like that, like that. So now the front is where the light is. Can you see the little light on the front? That is the front of the locomotive. If we want to turn that, you need a crowbar, just like any other um, railcraft thing. This is a very pe good piece of kit. So, you can just simply right click it, and it swaps direction, same for both. Now, where this doesn't apply, let's say you've just placed the locomotive, and you right click. Now, actually, technically that shouldn't... Oh, okay, I'm confused. Um, according to the wiki, this, uh, if it's just placed and it hasn't moved, then it shouldn't rotate. Maybe I'm wrong, that's wrong. Okay, ignore me. Um, so, yeah, you just right click it, and it flips over. So, that's good. Um, so that's how you change it. Now that's very important um, to know because if we're going to the GUI, you can see that you can travel at like in the steam locomotive four speeds forward, one speed back. So you don't really particularly want it going backwards everywhere um, simply because it's only going to be able to do one speed. Now we can see here you don't have an idle like you know, I'm glitching out inside the train. Uh, you don't have an idle like you do in the steam locomotive, you've got a running and shutdown. So shutdown is off, running is running. And you've got full speed, medium speed, slow speed, cruel, and reverse. Um, and such, and then this is the, for the um, ticketing thing. And this allows you to only have uh, accept tickets from you or an operator on the server. Uh, so those are the tickets, I won't go into those. This is your fuel, or electricity, because it's an electric locomotive, and uh, the moment is zero, so I can have it running and it's not doing a thing. Now even though it's not got, even though it's got no electricity, the light still comes on, so you can see that it's yellow, off. It's a good way to see if it's, if it's off or not. Now let's go on to how we can power these. So I've got a little setup here which is uh, using this, which is electric track. Now there's a couple of types of electric track. There is the, let me get them out. 
all in here. So you've got the electric Y track, the switch track, the junction track, and the just the normal track. So it's four types of track. Um, so you don't have any of the specials and stuff, but I'll get into how you can get around that, so it's actually okay. So, electric track can carry current all the way through it being connected. So all of this is connected. Now this is where it's switched to normal track. Yeah. Now this obviously is not powered. And if I place this electric track here, this would not be powered. That would be, because it's connected to that, this is not. So, how do we power it? Now this is where it gets a little bit confusing. Even though it says it does not need Industrial Craft 2 to run, I have not found another power, um, a wire or um, a pipe or thing that carries electricity to work with this. Um, I've tried a lot of the defaults, so like um, I've used uh, Mechanism, I've tried Ender IO, I've tried all those sort of things and nothing seems to be working, which really is quite annoying because I quite like those things. But as you can see, I've used a mixture here. So let me go over what we've got here. So this is what we call a shunting, uh, no, shunting wire. Shunting wire is the wire here. This is called an electric. Uh, I will grab it. Uh, rail craft. I should have brought all these out. See this somewhere. Where are you? I just saw it. There it is. Yeah, you go. Wire support frame. So this is a wire support frame that you can place track onto the top of this, like that. Now, to make it electrified, to be able to pass current into it, you need electric shunting wire. And you place it inside the little cage. And then when you play it pull out, you can go to the side, and then you can plug that into the next bit, which is the electric feeder unit. So then that plugs into the electric feeder unit. Um, they say you can plug it straight onto the top of these, even though I haven't had much success. I have given it and go, so they say you can just do that and it'll work. I haven't had great success with that. Um, so I do it this way, it's not too bad. Um, of course, you guys can go look at recipes using uh, too many items or, you know, the wiki. Um, so, once you do that, this does not have a user interface at all. So, nothing at all, no user interface, and it's pretty much useless. Except you need to then plug that into a fibre cable. Or, this is the industrial craft bit, so I can only find industrial craft to plug into this. Let me grab mechanism, because I've got mechanism installed, this mechanism. And let's grab the um, basic uh, you know, basic universal cable doesn't connect, which is really irritating. So, industrial craft stuff does that doesn't. Um, so then you plug it into your electric electricity source. So I'm using a uh, creative energy cube. You can plug it into a nuclear reactor, a wind turbine. You name it, you got it. And of course, industrial craft two will plug into anything. So you can see this is a mechanism thing. This and uh, it'll plug into it quite happily. So, if you've got wind turbine, it'll work. Um, it does depend how much electricity it uses, depends on how fast you're running the train. So, you might find that if you only run it off a solar panel, you might not have enough. Of, well, especially during the night, you're not probably going to have enough. Um, so, I would recommend at least two solar panels to be able to do it, um, or um, at least two or three t wind turbines I'd say. I've given it a little try and it's really variable so I can't give a definite answer. But once that's all set up, this is powered. And we can know this by if I put this on here, we see that it's now 100%. So that is now powered. That is your basic setup, um, like that. Now, there is an alternative. Let me grab the locomotive and, it, and it's a cart. So if we go to here, there is the, uh, where is it, uh, it's like the MFE, that box, uh, no idea what that one is. So basically, you can have a powered card. Uh, so let's go for the MFE. 
And of course, like always, you can do this to this. So now, this is, so if this is powered, this will power from that. So let's get this all connected up. Uh, of course, I'm going to need one of these. And then we're just going to push this back a bit, just so it's on the charging point. Oh no, to scratch that, sorry. I just realised my mistake. It doesn't use this setup. It uses... Sorry. My bad. It uses the energy loader. Which, funny enough, you cannot use... For... The right way around. So now you can see that this actually doesn't connect to that, which is fine. Let's push this in front. Yeah, I might have to do that in, in a future video. Oh wait, there we go. So you can see that's now topped up. No, it didn't, because I had it powered there. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure why this isn't working. Please ignore that last little bit. Oh no, this just worked. Oh no, this was just working. Don't know, not sure. Um, ignore everything I just said. But, yeah, you can power it via a cart that holds power, you can power them as well. So, now, we'll get on to the demonstrations. So, here, here we have a um, cart, so let me just empty my inventory. Here we have an electric locomotive, set up on a loop, um, and I'm going to actually grab a ride-along cart behind it, so we can just monitor the thing, and we need a crowbar. There you go, inside. So what we do, let's have a look. So it's at 100% because I've got the setup and I've got a little loop which is not powered. So you can be able to see that it can still continue to run when there's no power in the line. Um, but it does drain pretty quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this to be higher, slow speed, set it to be running. So you can see it's still 100% because it's still, well, 98%. Still in power. As soon as it drops out, we can see it starts dropping pretty quickly. And we should make it to the other side pretty okay. And of course the faster you go, the faster you'll chew it up. And we should hit that power in a second. Right there. And it tops up perfectly. And we go back. So I'm going to leave that running. So that's how that works, and I've got another one on this side, so just so it, goes up, so it can get power. Um, we've got another little random dude over there. Okay, so now that's done. That's that's the very basic workings of them. Now we can show you. I'm going to show you how they can work in kind of practice. So over here, we've got a little setup where I've got um, a base. So I've got an advanced item on loader. Uh, I've got a chest, which is collecting cobblestone, and I've got a little setup here where it's got a detector and a boarding rail. Um, and so the train will come in here, get to the boarding rail, uh, unload all the stuff, and then carry on. And I'm using the um, speed tracks, just to push them along, and we need, oh, I'm just going to find where the train's got to. All the way down here. It looks like it's going to have got stuck. Why have you gotten stuck?
Okay, no problem. I don't know what was happening there. Okay, now that was weird. So on this side, I've got a two cobblestone generators, which is pretty noisy. Uh, which is using Enderio stuff to place like build crafting in here, and then into this chest, and then it's transporting all those into this advanced loader, which is going on the little locomotive track here, which is using a cargo cart, okay, and a train to go along, and it goes down and continues. And then it'll come around and it'll stop. So we'll just show you how that all works. So let me it's also got a lovely little horn rather than a whistle, because of course it's an electric locomotive. So the next thing that while that's coming I wanted to show you is this does work uh, in a different way to um uh, or just a cow put it again. This does work in a different way to the other track because they're electrified. They will actually kill an entity that walks on them because it is a high-powered track. Now it doesn't act as if it's burnt them because you get still get raw feet. It just kills them. So we can now see that this is now extracting goods from the cart, and it all. I'll go into another, uh, in a later video I'll talk about how we use loaders and such. Um, but this is now extracting all the stuff from the cargo and waiting until it's all set off and it'll continue. Now this is a fully um, automatic system, so whereas with the um, steam locomotive I would have to have had another setup to put in more coal and put in more water into the train while it's waiting, you don't. Because it's all done via electricity, sorry, pardon me, ele electricity via the track, um, you don't have to worry about it. It's completely automated. You just have to set it up, make sure you've got electricity flowing to it, and continue it. If you have a power shortage, it, the train will continue going until it runs out of power. And as long as it's on the piece of track that is electrified, so these do not count. So if it stops on here, bad luck, you're going to have to give it a push until it gets onto the next bit. Um, it will continue. It will just continue on where it, from where it stopped off. So. Once this uh, stops, this will continue going on. Now, the other thing I'll quickly mention before I finish this off is with the entities dying, that also counts for players. So players will die if they touch electric track, and it is pretty nasty shock. You will also get a fancy death message, so I'm actually going to show you. Uh, to survival. So that's still... Oh, so it's a heart at a time. Made a shocking revelation. What's my death message? I have no idea where I am. Ah, over there. Sorry. A little bit of a far to run, but that's okay. I'm going to show you another one. So, made a shocking revelation. My favourite one I've seen is something like he peed on the third, third rail or something like that. Um, which I did have to chuckle at. Uh, all quickly, we can actually see that this is actually not made enough electricity. So, this hasn't got enough power to get to the end. So I'm going to have to give this a little shunt uh, to the end. There you go. So you can see that it literally just stopped until it reaches thing. Right. Let's see what our next death message is. Has learned something about, <laughs> about electricity. It hurts. So you can see that you have loads of fun new death messages to play around with. Um, so yeah. Let me know what you guys do with your electric locomotives. I'd love to see what you guys um, do with them, how you set up in your you know, your mines, how you set them up using automating your factories. I don't care. Show me. I'd love to see them. So you can post those onto my uh, Facebook. Uh, that's the Blue Coconut Family. Or you can onto Twitter, at Coconut Family. Uh, but of course, we also have our website, bluecoconutfamily.co.uk, where you can post comments in the bottom of this video's post, and we'll chat about what we've done. And yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Alright, see you later guys. Bye!